Hello, this video is a companion of my previous blog, which secures a React application via Keycloak and is available at the URL in the reference section. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on my new video uploads. Needless to say, we need to set up and run the React project before we can experiment on this one, so please go over to my previous article. At this point, I assume that you already have running and configured Keycloak in Docker as well as the React project. So again, to go over, we need to run the Keycloak in Docker and uh, make sure to import the realm and users that we have in the Spring Keycloak project. In this one, I already imported the realm, the prime react realm. So I have the prime react client. And one thing to check is if the credentials is the same with your keycloak.json configuration file in the react project. So in this case, they are the same. Next, so I assume at this point that you check out both, both the react project and the spring project in the reference section in the description. Next to check is the Spring Boot REST API client. So sometimes when you import the realm, config the realm configuration, the access type is set to confidential. So change it to bearer only and uh, make sure. So it, it Normally, there shouldn't be any secret here, but uh, to make sure in your Keycloak project, if you decide to use the Keycloak.json configuration file, then make sure to also check the secret value. Now, to configure the Spring project, uh, check out the project. So, I hope you already done that and uh, configure the Keycloak. Again, you can configure Keycloak by using the Keycloak.json file, or in my case, I use the application.yml. So it's available here. And uh, this properties become available when we use the Keycloak Spring Boot Starter when we added the Keycloak Spring Boot Starter dependency in our project's POM. And uh, don't forget to add the Keycloak Adapter POM. I'm using version 6.01. And then, in the documentation, so I'll paste the URL of this documentation in the uh, description of this video. So the important link is in the, the Spring Boot adapter. So here we are instructed to add this dependency and this uh, BOM. And uh, these are the properties that are available. And then uh, we should also override the class. Keycloak Web Security Adapter as is documented here. Here is our Oberaden class. The important part is the configure global where we set the granted authorities mapper, which is this one. Basically, it just converts the role to uppercase. So when we use an annotation like reauthorize so we can use we can uppercase the role names and then most of these are defaults and can be copied from this definition one thing to consider is the session authentication strategy where we can use two values in this for normally for rest api we use null authenticated session strategy as documented here 
the register session authentication strategy is used for public or confidential applications. And then this filter beans are also documented here. So because I think there is an issue with uh, the Spring Boot, so that's why they have this overrides. There, they have this producers bins that produce this uh, filter registration. We just cap. We just copy this bins in in, in uh, this security configuration, and then finally, uh, to secure our application. We can do that by a uh, kick by a uh, application that YML which we are using. So in here we have the security constraints, the the outros. It means that for the URL B1 user, this URL should be accessible with the role user, and the B1 dot admin is accessible with the role admin. Other place where we can uh, define the securities or these constraints is by using the configure in the the configure method in our security configuration. Here we can add the ant matchers, but we will not be using this one. And uh, you can also use the pre-authorized annotation in either the class level or the method level. So in this Annotation, we are saying that this user controller is accessible by the admin or user or this method is accessible only with the user, with the role user. So let's run the application, log in and navigate to localhost for 3000 port slash customers. I'm already running the Angular app, the sorry, the React application. So to to do that, you just need to type npm start, and let's let let's uh, access the URL, which is localhost three thousand. Click the customers so that it will ask us to log in. First, let's try the user carry. So the request is successful. That's why we are able to fetch this data from the REST API that we have in our Spring project. So this list comes from the customer controller. So we define the data in case you are interested in the load database class. So here, Kira Yamato, Harry, Gainsborough, Tifa Lahart. So, ah, I'm, I wonder if you are familiar with these names. <laughs> so to continue, let's try testing these buttons. Looking at the code. Let's check the uh, customer list component. This is the component and we have those two buttons in the GUI, the role user and role admin, which basically calls these two methods, which are defined in our customer actions. And uh, both of them call a method from the service which calls an API from our Spring project, which is the users and the, the admin. So the user is this one. Users, B1 users, and the admin is this one. The users and uh, the admin. So let's try clicking this role user. What happened is that uh, when we click the role user, it sends a request. It calls the API, the REST API, and the response is 200 because the user carry who has a role user 
is has access to the B1 user's URL. But uh, Kerry shouldn't have an access to the B1 admin because because Kerry doesn't have a role admin. So that's why when we click the role admin, it prints this uh, response which has a status fail. This response is being printed in the uh, in case you are interested, it's in the dispatch JavaScript file. So here it is. The uh, done and the response. And then for, uh, to continue, let's try logging in using the user admin. Let's clear the log. Click the role user. So this one is successful and this one is also successful. And that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And again, if you do, please do support my channel and uh, subscribe. And hit the... Uh, the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you and bye.